What's up, guys? I walk around the entire table because we don't have a production company or anything. It's literally just me and Sandra filming content, closing loans, closing deals, showing houses. Welcome back. <laughs> what's your name? <laughs> Hello, I'm Sandra. And what's, what are you doing here? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> For those of you that are new to the channel, hello, my name is Christina Alexa. I'm a Las Vegas YouTube vlogger and full-time realtor. And this is Sandra Mion. I'm Christina's full-time lender, which is I qualify you to give you a loan for a home. Yeah. Today, we have good energy today. The market is amazing. Well, we opened like two escrows today, so. Yeah. <laughs> which means we have deals under contract i know a lot of people don't know what escrow means all it means is under contract to buy a home it's like a scary word i didn't know what it meant when i first got in the business so mm -hmm. you're no home there let's talk about the market on that note to give you an idea of what real estate is like in vegas right now it is currently february 21st 2024 this past weekend or i should say past two days i don't know mm -hmm. why it felt like the weekend oh because president's day mm-hmm uh, I showed eight houses. Of those eight houses, three of them had multiple offers. Two of them had one offer in on it, and then the rest did not have any offers. But to the listing agents, um, per them, they apparently had many showings. Sometimes they say that, and it's not really the case because mm -hmm. they're trying to be competitive. It's definitely competitive for like those almost perfect homes as the three of the eight had multiple offers but there's definitely a lot of options to choose from and right now i genuinely feel that houses are priced very fairly and they're in good to great condition mm -hmm. i know in the past there has been housing markets where you're where the house isn't priced correctly it's priced over and the house is like not even in that good of condition so it kind of that's unfortunate right now I like the market right now. Mm -hmm. I like the rates. I like the houses available. And life is good right now. I agree. I definitely agree. <laughs> yeah, so that's a little bit of insight on what the market looks like right now. Let's talk about just going back to basics. I had an email recently asking somebody was moving here from out of the state. And they're like, hey, I'm not um, moving until October. What are some tips you have for me to be able to buy a home later this year? Okay, yeah. Um, number one tip for me is definitely have credit established. If you have no credit or you're not sure what your score is, I would suggest taking a look into that to getting rid of any collections accounts you may have. Um, if you don't have a score at all, I would open up three credit cards. That's the magic number. Um, you don't have to use them. Uh, you can only just, you know, spend it on groceries or gas and pay it off or pay it down uh, every month so that we can start building a credit and building a credit score. So that's what we need to qualify number one thing is credit and another quick tip by the way with credit we if you are getting married or you are like having changing a name your change. name for mm -hmm. any reason in this case we had someone who was a citizen in another country as well with credit tell them what happened <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh she had a maiden name previously she went ahead and changed her name and uh, she changed her first name as well but did not uh, update any of the credit bureaus she did have credit. She bought a car, has credit cards. But when I tried to pull a score for her, it said, you know, this person doesn't exist. The limit does not exist, yeah. basically. Yeah, right, so it doesn't exist. So make sure, yeah, if you're getting married or changing your name for any reason, just, you, it's literally one document. No, can I explain this? Because you're not saying it correctly. <laughs> it doesn't own documents. Okay. So yeah, yes. your marriage certificate. No. You don't need to give that. I can just call and say, change my last name to Billy Bob. Well, yeah, they verify who you are. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I call. <laughs> yeah, you should. <laughs> Tina Docs. No, not that yet. I'm not married. Just like the official last name to be Alexa. Mm. My my real last name is not Alexa. I've been fooling you guys this whole time. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Tell them. Okay, okay. so. <laughs> Uh, yes, so if you did make a name change, you do need to call the credit bureaus, uh, all of them, TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax. Make sure they have your name all the same, correct throughout all three. Your birth date, your social, and your address is always correct for all three of those bureaus so that we can pull score for you. Next thing, in order to qualify for a house, besides all that credit stuff, the mortgage company is going to look for a score of 640 or higher. 
Sometimes we can go as low as 620 or lower, depending on some other factors. It really is just a case-by-case -case basis. Mm -hmm. Generally, 640 or higher is going to be what you need to qualify for a mortgage. In addition to two years of work history, typically within the same um, general, uh, what is it called, uh, industry. So, for example, if you've been working in a hospital in one position for uh, the first year, but you switch positions, but you're still in the hospital or the medical industry the second year, you're good to go. You don't need to freak out and be like, oh, but I haven't been working the same job. It just has to be basically reflecting to the mortgage banker, hey, look it, they can hold the job. We can trust them with a the loan and they're mm -hmm. going to be able to pay us back. Yes. So you need your work history, your credit score. Typically, Sandra's going to ask for your last two pay stubs from your job mm -hmm. and last two bank statements, as well as the bank that you are planning to get your down payment from. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't have a down payment that you're comfortable with, we have some solutions for you. Yes. So we can either get seller concessions, um, which means the seller can offer to give you a gift or, you know, they can help you with your down payment or buy down your rate or whatever. Christina is really good at negotiating that. Um, or also there are gift options available. So if you have a family member or friend that wants to gift you money, all we would need is a signed letter from them, which I type up for them. It's just saying who they are, what uh, account the money is coming from, and then they can wire the money directly to title on your closing day. Um, so there's multiple solutions we can have, but a good benchmark amount to have in your savings for a down payment, I would say about 25,000 is a great number um, to have saved up just in case of anything. Yes. So there's a ton of solutions and down payment programs. So if you don't have that yet, do not let that to stop you, you mm -hmm. from reaching out to us. My email is in the description. Sandra's email is in the description. And also, if you fill out the first link in the description, that will have allow me to give you a call within 10 minutes is typically my response time. I need all, it, all it's going to ask you is your name, your phone number, your email address, and then if you're planning to buy, rent, or sell. That's all it's going to ask you, and then I'm going to have your contact and reach out to you personally within 10 minutes, and if you're not available, we'll just schedule at the time. Last thing we wanted to cover today actually came from a buyer consultation we just had over the weekend with a really nice newlywed couple who happened to be first-time buyers. They asked us what is the difference between a condo, a townhouse, and a single-family residential. This is a very common question and kind of pretty much easy to answer. A condo is going to be a property that shares three or more walls with another unit. This looks most similar to what an apartment looks like. In addition to the shared walls, you're going to have a lot of shared amenities. It can include a pool, parks, a gym, fitness centers. This is, that varies from community to community. Condos typically have either a carport. However, some of them do have garages attached to the building. Some of them are one-car garages, some of them are two-car garages. Whatever you're looking for, Vegas has an option for you. A townhouse is typically two walls shared with neighbors, and this does include a full front yard and a backyard. They're not the biggest front or backyards, but you do have that space that you're not getting at a condo. This sometimes works better for my clients who have animals that need yard space and we're not able to find it in a condo. Townhouses sometimes work better. And then a single family residential is a freestanding building. You're not sharing any walls with neighbors. You have a full front yard, full backyard, and you typically have no shared amenities that you might get in the townhouse or condo. However, the only thing that would consider to be shared is most uh, single family residential properties here in Nevada have an HOA. And oftentimes what they cover is maintenance of your front yards, potentially your sprinkler, sprinkler system, and then just like neighborhood parks, just making sure those are kept clean and things like that. Again, that varies so much from neighborhood to neighborhood, but I hope that gives you a good idea on what the differences are. If you reach out to me and you say, hey, I want to look at condos and single family residentials or townhouses and single family residentials or all of them, that's cool. You don't have to go house hunting for just one of them at a time. Love that. And that's all the basic facts, the quick, ans <laughs> quick answers I wanted to give you today to answer some of the most frequent things we've had over the past week or so. Absolutely. Just a good refresh. Hit so, that link in the description below if you're looking to <laughs> buy in the Las Vegas Valley. We got you. And we'll see you on the next video.